Hello, this is Xavier, and this is GIMP 101, Part 3, and what we're going to be covering to in today's video is basically the layout of our screen and how to customize our screen to put those things that we use often right at our fingertips. You're going to notice on my screen that I have three windows open. If you don't have three windows, no big deal. Um, sometimes when you do download GIMP, you only get two windows. I'll actually show you towards the end of the video here how to open up and to create that third window. The first window here, I have my toolbox. The toolbox is where all the different icons or all your different tools are located at. You can just click on any one of these tools and obviously you'll be able to do whatever you want to on your actual image. Below the toolbox, I have a couple other little helpful things. Here's the color chooser. I can simply just click on the foreground color, change the color. This little arrow thing here switches it so I can actually choose a different color so now my foreground is this blue and my background is this like dark green. Below that I have this section where I can actually add different tabs. We'll go over actually how to add the tabs and why it might be a good idea to add some tabs that you're that you use most often. Our second window here is called our active workspace. It's actually where our image is located at and where we do all of our image manipulations. There's a few different sections of this window. The first is where your actual image is displayed. So you can see I can actually grab a paintbrush here and, you know, make it real big and actually paint on my image. The other part of this window is this inactive space here. It's actually um, you can't paint on it or anything like that. It's not part of your image. But the nice thing is, is that you can actually start your, say if you're making a line or something like that, you can actually start clicking up in the area and draw your line and you'll see that that black line is now all the way at the very edge of my image here. Just because I started up in this inactive space. The other part of your screen here is your tools. These are all sorts of different items that you can look at and, and work with and we'll actually be having more tutorials on what all those kind of do for you. The third window here, it's basically more of these tabs that I've kind of customized but in a third window. So you'll notice that I actually have my tool options open here and um, tool options are extremely helpful. I actually recommend that you always have your tool options open. Uh, what the tool options do for you is they're expanded features based on what tool you click on in your toolbox. So you'll see if I click on the move tool, that toolbox actually changes and gives me different activities that I can do with that move or the fill bucket. You can see that I can do all sorts of patterns and all this other thing. So it's constantly changing dependent on what tool you click on um, and it's really kind of nice um, for those expanded features. I've actually split this window into two areas. So I have this tool options and then down below I have my different tabs. So that's a real brief, you know, what, how is your screen set up? Um, the only other things worth men mentioning is if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of your active workspace window, you'll notice that you're actually going to have the coordinates of where your cursor is on your screen. It's very helpful if you want to know exactly what point your cursor is hovering over. You also have the zoom, so you can choose a zoom level. But you can also zoom by holding down control and using your mouse wheel. I found that that's a lot easier to zoom in and out. The other helpful thing about moving your image on your screen is if you actually hold down your spacebar key, you'll get this image here. And if you move your mouse, you can actually move your image around the screen. It's helpful if you're zooming in, you know, real close and you want a different section. You can just hold down that mouse and move the image around at your convenience. So let's actually go over how to customize your screen here. Um, the next image I'm going to basically duplicate what you're going to see when you first download GIMP. So this is my window after I've reset it back to the default. It's probably what you're going to see after the very first time that you install GIMP on your computer. Very simple. We have our toolbox window on the left hand side here and then our active workspace window in the middle here or on the right hand side. Now in order to open up features or, or basically um, additional um, options that you have available to you, what you can do is open up these dockable dialog tabs. Um, it's very simple to do. On your toolbox window, 
you have this configure this tab button you can click that hover down to add tab and then I like to have open my brushes my colors and I use palettes a lot so I like to have my palettes always open as a tab here and now you'll see that I have all these different options right at my fingertips that I can go to this option that defaulted in the actually the tool options tab I actually like to open that up as a third window so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and hold on the tab and I'm just gonna move it like this and now I have this third window that now I can resize and in that third window I also like to have my layers and my paths so I'm gonna do the same thing configure this tab add tab I'm gonna open up my layers and I'm gonna open up my paths so that's just a very simple way to customize your screen um, you could have as many boxes as you wanted to open um, you can always go to this Windows dockable dialogs say you want navigation it'll open up a, its own little window here now to GIMP 2.8 they've also given us this option of a single window mode you can set up all your different um, windows just like you already have here go to this and click on single window mode what that does is, is it creates it so it's all you know kind of docked together um, and you can you know resize this as you choose so there's just some way to customize your screen again um, I would just suggest kind of keeping track of the different tabs that you use the most often and just adding those all, all in so once you've set that up your next step is actually save the changes so that the next time you open up GIMP it's gonna look exactly the same way so we can do that by going to edit preferences a dialog tab is gonna come up and you just want to click on the Windows management and then click this save windows position now I highly suggest not checking the save windows position on ex exit just because if you are doing a specialized project and you you know rearrange all your different tabs uh, for that specific project you're not going to save over what your default um, or how you normally like your tabs to be set up so you just click on the save windows position now and it'll save your windows positions otherwise you can always click this reset save windows positions to default value and it'll take you back to like you were starting off on day one so thank you very much for watching this uh, short video here um, if you like it please uh, click on the like thumbs up button or uh, you know feel free to subscribe so you get all the the updates of the uh, additional videos that we're gonna be putting out here thank you very much have a wonderful day Bye.